Hey guys, what is going on? It is Tabuki here once again. It is time for a new Maple Story 2 series. I'm going to be starting something called The Knight's Tale, where we journey with this potato and hope to transform him into a glamorous, majestic knight. So I did make a new character, Tabuki. I skipped the whole character creation thing. And what's really exciting about this Maple Story 2 series is that it's going to mostly be in English, thanks to Esquinox Res. He informed me that there was a way to patch or mod your Maple Story 2 so that there would actually be English translations. I'll go ahead and post that in the description below. Check out his video, it's really awesome um, because now we can actually kind of tell what's going on. There's actually English, great new character, I would have never guessed. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the Knight's Tale. So of course the tutorial for MapleStory, we always learn to love these things. <laughs> We've experienced them so many times. Um, but as you can see now, the chat is in English, but um, he's a cabin do bum. So apparently he's the bum of this cabin. So he left the bum's cabin. And you've guys probably seen this tutorial many times already. Um, but this is this is kind of the flow. This guy's name is So Wave Mister. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a rapper's name, my goodness. It's so bad, it's so good. I love it. Keep it. Collect the remaining honey. How many do I need? Three honeys. Man, honey. So, Wave Mister, here are your honeys to cure your drunkness. Apparently, that is what you needed it for, and you gave me a stick. An old club. I guess that's a fancy name for a stick. Next time you find a stick on the ground, just kind of just say, hey, look, that's a magnificent old club on the ground. I guess to be fair, anything can be really considered as a club. A pillow. A hand. Do you want to skip the tutorial? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. I, I don't mind skipping the tutorial. So here it is. We got some sort of attendance check already. Day 4 check-in. This must have been collected on my other characters, so it's kind of a universal thing it looks like. I remember in Maple Story 1 where you could actually do the attendance check on every single character, but uh, it seems like Maple Story 2 caught on to our little game and was like, nope, it's, it's one per character, or one per account now. So you can't farm 18 things, which is kind of smart. Maybe Maple Story 1 did change it up, I'm not quite sure. Leveled up like potato sticks? Yes, it was leveling up like potato sticks. And are these strawberries? What are these things? They look like strawberries, but they just look kind of interesting. And pigs! <gasps> Pigs. So we have two sorts of swings right now. We got full swing and hammering. Oh, just hammering to town. I like it. We gotta lift this and, and play some Legos here. We're just kind of placing it down right here. Micromanaging me like a boss. Man, I'm just doing free labor right now. What? They're disappearing! This is unfair! Oh, little girl, you like to look at flowers? Look at this, sucker! <laughs> Ruins your fun. Now you got no flowers to look at. I realize I am not being very knight-like. I should probably stop. I feel like knights are a little bit more gentleman-like and supposed to be setting a good role model, not smacking flowers away from little children. But wait, I'm not a knight yet, so I guess I can I can be I can have fun being a rebel for now. Chicken? You looking at me funny chicken? What? I can collect eggs? Oh my goodness. Thank you, chicken. I took your child. Thank you. Dun 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 DK Hey buddy. Where's Diddy Kong? Says collect three pearls. So we're just gonna go ahead and reach into these clamshells and take out some of these pearls and hopefully call it good. There is one. Oh, that's a shellfish item drop. Man, just batting them away. Get out of my house! Out of my house! Yes! You can't handle the truth! What is going on here? I don't even understand this. What? <laughs> it's one punch man! There's two people, I think, in this raft, but... This is a very awkward situation. I don't I don't know what to make of this. Is this real life? Alright, well let's just let them do what they're doing in the waters and go collect our shells. And you are being very destructive, futile. Very disruptive right now. I think this person's a bot. I am asking a generous question, just so you know, just a question. Are you real? I don't I take that as a no. That must be not a real person. <laughs> just kind of maybe botting, I don't know. He just he seems very AFK. Maybe he put a put a pencil on his A key or something and he's just just wrecking clams all day long. I wonder how long he can do that for. Oh, level up like potatoes dead number 4. What it is? These guys are so adorable. Look at these things. They got little leaves on the side of their heads. Hey little guy. 
die! <laughs> this guy's name is Big Eater Ruin. Whoa, what's up here? Is this a boss? A turtle boss? No way! Oh my gosh, it's a turtle! And he's got a tree growing on his back. Yeah, buddy! Oh, 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 that's a lot of red. That is a lot of red. Oh, <laughs> dodging it like a king. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, are these eggs? Like, am I supposed to be collecting these eggs? Oh, <laughs> I guess I, I'm supposed to be saving these eggs as well. I'm um, up here. I like this. This is like playing lava. I don't know if you guys played that game when you guys were in, uh, in school, in elementary school maybe, or when you guys had recess. What was it called? Like lava ground or something? Where you pretended all the playground was lava and you'd have to like climb on things to avoid getting burned by the gravel. What we did before we had technology and fun things, <laughs> we were... We, we made up our own fun things, I guess. Turtle, I will smack you in the butt as much as you want. Dang, this better give me, like, a crazy reward. This is- this boss is called Boogie Cooley. I am soloing this boss with a stick. I just killed you with a stick. Now you come! Not- you're hitting his dead body? Really? After- oh, that's right, you can hit to- <laughs> to get things. <laughs> I forgot this cruel part of Maple Story 2 is, uh, it, they're not only dead, but you can smack their dead body to loot even more things. <laughs> Yay! Okay, you know, you came a little bit late, but I guess you came for the body, but whatever. I did the work. They were turtle eggs? You had me go up there and jack turtle eggs? I thought those were bird eggs. Those things were humongous. Man, you guys gotta get that checked out. Oh, no, the turtle spawned up there. Oh, forget that. I'm not helping her. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go there when the body is just laying on the ground already dead. Oh, that's right. We were just in the Maple Island area. I forgot that we haven't even made it to the actual world yet. This is, yeah, we're, we're gonna go to Lith Harbor now. Beautiful. All right, cool. So take me there, Cap. Captain no Captain. Oh, yeah. Here it is, ladies and gents. Our journey begins again. <laughs> Lith Harbor. We are now truly... A Maple Story player. Nice. Oh, taxi stop. Oh yeah, that's right. So you have to activate these taxi portals um, in every town in like kind of like a hotspot areas so that you can use them. You can call them there. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Um, you kind of gotta adventure around and actually get there first before you can use a taxi. So that's cool. I like that. I like that. Hey Beth, how you doing? Looking beautiful as ever. All right. So I see a quest marker down yonder at the beach. Her name is Love. And her name is Punch. Love Punch. <laughs> oh yes. Hey, you guys. Uh, you guys enjoying enjoying your scenery? Well, how about now, huh? Yeah. What up? Hey, this guy just gave me an upgraded stick. An um, even more upgraded stick. Seven to nine weapon attack. So weapon attack, physical attack is plus one. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> now we're rocking it. Now we're rocking it. This person's like, oh my gosh, again. Man, how many times are people just gonna come in and smack these chairs around on this beach? I don't know, in the beginning of this tutorial, just a lot of errand running, of course, running back and forth, delivering things, meeting people, seeing the new areas, getting your foot in the door kind of type deal. Um, but definitely, <laughs> definitely been traveling around a lot. Oh, that's right, we can take this! Oh, I love this part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The smacking monsters with items that you find across the world is just a, it's a good feeling. It's one of the, it's one of the greater feelings, definitely. Oh, he gave me pants. Dog, you know the way to a man's heart. Yes, Garado's work pants. Man, now I'm totally styling in these things. Look at that. This is a long royal road for sure. Oh, the royal road's broken. Oh no. Guys, come on, you guys are slacking. What's what's happening? <laughs> JJ, you guys, who remembers Jay from uh, the Kinesis intro? So it looks like this is a viewing telescope. Okay, cool. So it's like one of those viewpoints where you can kind of see the whole map area when you activate this little telescope here. So we can kind of get a bird eye view. Tactical advantages, where to go, where not to go. Beautiful. Oh, do I have a snail through? What? Oh, I do, and it's rainbow colored. Oh, it's so beautiful. Man, these things are dropping a lot of things. Velvet boots, yes, please. Replacing the sneakers. Look at us. We're just dressing up our night so gracefully right now. And we're going to go ahead and just throw, <laughs> throw these snail shells. And it's a mob attack, too. That's great. I love it. Oh, I see you, monkey. Oh, I see you, monkey. Oh, I see you, monkey. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Three apples? Oh, man, you're pushing it, man. You're pushing it. Monkey, don't you... Don't you throw apples at me, monkey. I gave you a chance, and you failed. 
Bad monkey. I told you, don't you dare throw- Is there another monkey hiding behind here? No way there is. I can't even see you, monkey. You're just- Oh, you are back there. Monkey. Monkeys being monkeys, man. Monkeys being monkeys. I think we have finally upgraded from a stick to a hammer. Oh, yes, the mallet. You guys are definitely stuck inside those bushes there. Maybe I should help you guys out. They'll give you a lending hand. Ah, no problem. No problem there, good sirs. Sorry, I only signed up to help two. Um, so you guys are on your own. <laughs> so definitely, guys, uh, the Maple Story 2 tutorial at the beginning, I guess, the leveling is a lot more difficult than Maple Story 1. Um, and that just comes from time, you know. <laughs> Probably, as, as time goes on, Maple Story 2 will make themselves a little bit easier. But uh, right, right now, you know, I mean, it's still not too bad. Definitely not as hard as Maple Story 1 used to be for leveling. But it's definitely a little bit more challenging, you know. You gotta... The, the killing it takes a little bit more time. I mean, granted, when you're done with Maple Story 1's tutorial, they just automatically level you up to 10, but now you actually have to physically level up, which is nice, you know? I like it. I do like it. So, I don't know if you guys remembered, but uh, I did start a series for Maple Story 1 called The Hero's Journey, and that is finished. Um, I <laughs> leveled up a hero to level 100, I think. I think that's what it was. So, I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is level up the Bow King to level 30. Um, for this series because it's of course definitely more harder to level and we're gonna go ahead and Hopefully get that out show you guys some party quests some green boots. Yes, sirs. Is there a boss here? I think, I think there is a boss. Oh, he's the bear dude. Oh, man. I remember you I remember wait wait before you do that hold up hold up. I See a treasure chest Ah, <laughs> yes! Wait, can I steal his honey? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> Wait, I want the honey. Ah, got it! <laughs> Alright, I am not prepared. This Ursa definitely looks a lot less fierce, though, than, uh, than the Ursa Maple Story 1. Oh, he's just relaxing there! Smack you in your booty cheek! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave the Ursa Bear for another day, because that thing is difficult. What I remember doing in Maple Story 2 for training was you had to, like, kind of round up all the mobs together. <laughs> and then you kind of go to one spot and just, like, mob them all down. Oh, I love it. Gosh, it's so juicy. <laughs> just gotta put you guys through the grinder. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, sirs. No, sirs. No, sirs. Oh, I got the headbutt skill now going on, too. Come on, trees. Follow me. I've got a fun place for you guys to all go to death. <laughs> Let's pull this out and just start smacking them with it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Oh, I am dying and I don't have potions on my hot bar. <laughs> that was really not good. Let's do that really quick. Put potions on my hot bar before I die. We'll do it on the end key. Oh, I've got to claim these food packets. These trees have been stealing soldiers' foods. Man, I hate when that happens. These, these mischievous trees. I think what's super cool about Maple Story 2, though, is the destructible environment. And I think I mentioned that before in a previous video, but I, I think it's just really cool because it, it just makes it feel like you're doing a lot more destruction around the maps, you know? <laughs> and especially when you can, like, pick up items, too. It's just, like, super awesome. Like, this little tree here. Just pick it up. I don't know what it is, like a rainbow poop tree, and you can just like, uh, just do massive amounts of damage actually. A lot more than I'm doing right now, I mean, I'm, I'm hitting for maybe 30s average. So I'm level 9, I think this map over is Hennessy's, um, or no, Tria, excuse me, I think Tria is the main town. Or, this is, yeah, Tria, and then Hennessy's is somewhere up top, probably up here. No, that's Alenia. I don't know where Hennessy's is, I think Hennessy's is up here actually. That's Perion. It's kind of like, here's Hennessy's, level 20 area, water, fishing, intermediate stage one. Um, so definitely, I remember like Hennessy's is kind of like, used to be the newbie area for Maple Story 1, but now it's this trio place. So I mean, let's go in there and figure out things. So I'm hoping that there is a quest here that I can finish because I am level 9, 70%. I believe you have to be level 10 to become a, to get your first job advancement. So let's just hope that this quest We'll, uh, we'll get us good at EXP here. I like these little <laughs> these little boxes. Um, I think that's like under construction on where houses are being built, which is just totally awesome. Oh uh, yes, the lively city. And someone's playing piano. This guy's just sleeping on top of the bench. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and 
find this quest. So hopefully she will give me good EXP. 4,000 EXP and a green hat. I think that's enough. It is, ladies and gents, leveled up like a potato stick. 10, level 10. We now can become our knight in shining armor. Denver, hey, look, that's like the city I live in. What's up? What's up? Do you guys remember in MapleStory 1 how, like, you can just be a beginner? Or there would be those people that tried to be beginners um, throughout until, like, level 200 or something? I think that would actually kind of be easy to do in MapleStory 2. I mean, not easy, but easier because these beginner skills are actually pretty darn awesome. <laughs> you know, you can really rock some socks with those skills. So, I don't know. I think, I think that will be a... A good chance there. Let's go in and try to find our job advancing place. I think it's in this main building right here. Should be able to job advance. And people's got pianos all over the place. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it happens. This is where zeros become heroes and potatoes become knights. Let us go. Make me a knight, good sir. And make me good. Yes, please. A knight we shall be. Yes. Uh... The choir sings for me. So our two skills right now I think so far is Tornado Slash, which is a, a little bit of a whirlwindy type thing, and Cross Swing, which you just slice your opponents with crazy amounts of blades. So great, good, good talk, good talk, I like it. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. When do I get a cool helmet like you? That's my question. Um, the two skills, of course, in Maple Story 2, you have this thing called SP, where there's a main skill that will charge your SP, and then your other skills will use it. So this cross swing, it will actually give me 10 SP recovery every time I swing. Um, I, I will cover some SP, and then my tornado slash will use the SP. So it's kind of more like you know, charge up, combo, unleash, boom. Death. I just wanted to go hit some monsters. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I want to test out my night powers. Oh, yes! Dang! Alright, so definitely a lot more powerful than the stick. Um, they gave me a shield, too. Look at that. Wow. Gave me a wooden shield. And a new guard house sword. Beautiful. I'm liking it. And a hat, too. Uh! <laughs> Got my hat going on. Look at that snazzer doodle. Very quick attacks, what I'm noticing with the knight. Um, just, just my basic attack here is just so quick. And I like it though, because I think, if I'm, if I kind of understand correctly, I think it's a mob skill. So we can hit multiple monsters at once. Indeed we can. Whew, that is awesome. Very sexy, I'm liking that. And then the A skill, of course, my, uh, my crazy whirlwind slash is just crazy powerful. Yeah. Unleashing. So what I think I'm going to be doing for my training style is mobbing up with my S, of course, getting them all kind of together, and then just kind of finishing them off with my with my whirlwind. I think they can jump up here. Yeah, they can jump up here. So I, I kind of get them up here, and I just kind of whirlwind them to death, and they just all die. Look at that. Beautiful. Right into the grinder. I love it. Of course, these are really low-level mobs, but <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the idea for uh, for later on but anyways ladies and gentlemen i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here of a knight's tale i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see more uh, maple story 2 videos because it gives me a good gauge on how, how much you guys enjoy these types of videos and what i kind of need to do to change it up a little bit um but yeah i'm really enjoying this class so far guys i am ooh, reduced holy damage yes please um, you know, definitely, I, I usually always make archers, but I'm trying out the warrior panties right now, and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, so I'm excited to play this more for you guys, thank you so much for watching, this has been the Bo King, and I'm excited to